Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are diving deep into the hands-on tutorial on how to install NVIDIA driver and PyTorch for NVIDIA 50 series graphic cards on Linux. If you want to tap into bleeding edge performance, you are in the right place. Let's get started. We will be using Ubuntu as the Linux distribution. If you are not familiar with it, please check my previous video on how to install it. You can either install it from fresh start or you can upgrade it. There is some documentation on the official website. Please make sure that you follow that and then you can install it on your machine. Once you have it installed, you will able to see the desktop and the on the left bottom, there is an application icon. Click it and search for terminal. This way you are able to get to your terminal and we will work with it to install everything in that. First step is to install a mainline kernel. The reason is that the default kernel is not able to support the latest media driver. This is the command that you will need line by line to enter. Luckily, it's very easy. You just uh, make sure that you follow it uh, and uh, you can choose a version, one of the latest version and install it. After the installation, you will need to reboot your PC and uh, confirm it by using the uname-a Great, once you have it, we can move to the next step is to prepare the build tools and the dependencies. It's uh, quite simple. You just uh, do a uh, install build-essentials. One optional installation is the Steam because Steam has lots of dependencies that may be useful. You can go to the Steam official site and choose the Linux installer. The third step is the NVIDIA driver installer. Before we download the installer, we will need to upgrade the GCC version. So this is the command that you can use to upgrade the GCC from 13 to 14. First install it, and then update alternative. You may need uh, to do a configuration to select uh, the correct version. Here it uh, lists out all your installed version. For mine, I had uh, 13 and uh, 14. They have 0, 1, 2, so I select 2. So this way, I think I selected uh, the 14 version GCC and I verified by GCC dash dash version. Now it's time to download the NVIDIA driver. Let's go to the official NVIDIA site. On the top menu, there is a drivers. Click on that. It takes you to the drivers page. Here, I prefer to use the menu driver search. You can enter your product type, your series, 50 series. You can choose your product, 50, 90, 80, 70, or 70 Thai. And then you choose your operating system, start search. It shows us the driver results. I think those are both for Linux x64. There is one latest version and one version from January. You can choose each. So let's choose the latest one and get a download. Click the download now button. And it will be downloaded into your download directory on your PC. Then let's go back to the terminal and go to the download directory. 
we need to make uh, the downloaded uh, installer executable. Simply chmod plus x. So this is a command. All right, now we are ready to run the installer. Using this command to start uh, the installer, it will show you some information and uh, it asks you whether you want to use uh, NVIDIA Pri Priority or MIT. The, I prefer the MIT, so I think uh, I tried the NVIDIA, it didn't work, so I, I think you may try both. If uh, the NVIDIA one doesn't work, you can use MIT. You may get some warnings, you can read them. I think uh, it's okay, press okay. Press enter to confirm, and then I think uh, you can continue install. Press enter. And uh, press enter to confirm. Here, because I previously installed an earlier version, so it asked me if I want to continue install or abort. I press continue. Okay, and uh, also continue. Press enter. Okay, it uh, starts to build uh, the kernel modules. It uh, may take a few minutes. It asks you if you want a 32-bit compatibility. You can press either yes or no. For here, it asks you whether you want to update uh, the X configuration, which is related to the display. I think uh, you can press uh, no or yes, both can be fine. Yeah, congratulations, I think it's now complete. Press enter, and uh, it recommends you to do a reboot of your PC. So let's do the reboot. After we restarted the, the PC, we can go back to the terminal and uh, we can start um, NVIDIA-SMI. It will show you the driver version. Yes, great. We can see that uh, the version is 570. Congratulations. You successfully installed uh, the latest uh, NVIDIA driver for your 50 series graphic card. Now let's see how to install PyTorch for the RTX 50 graphic card. We just installed uh, the Linux GPU driver. What we need uh, to do is to install Python and the Python virtual environment. I recommend uh, to use the mini conda or anaconda. And then we can install PyTorch inside of the Python virtual environment. Let's get started with installing the mini conda virtual Python environment. Go to its official documentation, basic install, click the Mac OS or Linux, click Linux. Here you find the Linux x86 and it will show you a command which allow you to download the installer. Go back to your terminal, go to your download location and paste the command and press enter to download it. Once downloaded, you can start the installing. It will also show you the instruction to install it. 
press enter, there will be a agreement. You need to keep press your enter key. It's quite long, so be patient. You just need to just keep press the enter key, so it will goes on and on. Now you can type yes to agree the agreement and uh, press enter because this is a default location. For me, because I already installed it, but uh, if you are fresh installing, you should be able to press enter to continue and it will install it for you. One thing I want to mention is that uh, in the last step, it asks you about uh, whether to start it automatically, I recommend uh, to just uh, press yes. So this is for the last step. So that way you will have a, a base in front of your terminal. So it will show you that uh, the conda has been activated. So you were able to use the conda right away instead of manually activate it. All right, so next uh, we move on to install the PyTorch. Go to the PyTorch, get started, start locally. You can see there is an interactive selector. We will need to select the Nightly, Linux, PIP, Python, and CUDA 12.8. It will show you a command which you can copy and paste into your terminal. But first, let's create a Python virtual environment. Conda create dash m. You can name your virtual environment. Let's call it my p e n v, and specify the Python version three point twelve. It will start the installing of the Python virtual environment. Now it shows you the instruction to activate it. Conda activate my p e m v, and then just to verify which Python we can see that it just shows you the conda environment. My p e m v looks great. Now we can copy the command from the PyTorch and uh, paste it onto the terminal. It will start uh, downloading the required uh, packages and install it. It may take a while. Some of the packages are quite big. After a while, it should be able to install everything. Congratulations, I think you have them installed. Now we can do a verification based on the PyTorch script. Let's go to the verification section. Copy that. You need to start a Python console. Import a torch, and it will print out the tensor. Great, looks great. Another verification we want to do is uh, specific to the 50 RTX series graphic card. We want to know if the PyTorch supports uh, the architecture of the 50 series card. We can do it uh, also on the Python console, import a torch and a torch the CUDA the get arc list. We specifically need to look in for the compute underscore 120, which stands for the Blackwell architecture for the 50 series graphic card. I think uh, just like this, I think we can verify that our installed PyTorch working with the 50 series card. And uh, you can also feel free to try some other torch command. Congratulations, we successfully installed the NVIDIA driver on Ubuntu. We also installed the Python virtual environment using 
Miniconda, we created a virtual environment and installed a PyTorch and verified the installation of PyTorch successfully. I hope uh, you find uh, this video useful. Please uh, hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends. And uh, also subscribe to the channel for future contents. Thank you. Goodbye.